to express my admiration for you for being here in this weather and showing the commitment that you are showing. If more people had the commitment that you have, peace would come to El Salvador and justice would come to El Salvador tomorrow. I see in you the same commitment that Archbishop Romero had, and I want to thank you for that. Que viva! Dear Mr. President, me very much. According to the article, your administration is studying the possibility of backing the present government junta and giving it economic and military aid. This was 10 years ago. We know what's happened since then. Because you are a Christian and have said that you want to defend human rights, I take the liberty of expressing my pastoral point of view on this matter and of making a specific request. I am deeply disturbed over the news that the United States government is studying a way to accelerate El Salvador's arms race by sending military teams and advisors to instruct three of El Salvador's battalions in logistics, communications, and intelligence techniques. If this information is true, the contribution of your administration Instead of favoring greater justice and peace in El Salvador, will almost surely intensify the injustice and repression of the common people who are organized to struggle for respect for their most basic human rights. Unfortunately, the present government junta, and especially the armed forces, and security forces have not demonstrated any ability to solve structurally or in political practice our serious national problems. In general, they have only resorted to repressive violence and this has resulted in a much greater toll of dead and wounded than in previous military regimes whose systematic violation of human rights was denounced by the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. The brutal way in which security forces recently evicted and assassinated persons who occupied the Christian Democratic Party headquarters in spite of the fact that the government junta and the party, it seems, did not authorize said operations, is evidence that the junta and the Christian Democrats do not govern the country. Rather, political power is in the hands of unscrupulous military personnel who only know how to repress the people and favor the interests of the Salvadoran oligarchy. There is a report that last November a team, a team of six North Americans 
was in El Salvador. They gave out some $200,000 worth of gas masks and bullet, bulletproof, bulletproof vests. They also gave instructions on how to use them in riot control. You should be informed that there is evidence to show that beginning then, the security forces, with greater personal protection and efficiency, have repressed the people even more violently using deadly weapons. Therefore, since I, as a Salvadoran and Archbishop of the San Salvador Archdiocese, have the obligation to work for the reign of faith and justice in my country, I urge you, if you really want to defend human rights, to prohibit the giving of military assistance to the Salvadoran government, to guarantee that your government will not intervene directly or indirectly with military, economic, diplomatic, or other pressure to determine the fate of the Salvadoran people. We are going through a serious economic and political crisis in our country, but without a doubt, the people are more conscientized and organized and thereby are becoming agents responsible for the future of El Salvador and are the only ones capable of ending the crisis. It would be deplorable and unjust if by the intervention of foreign powers, the Salvadoran people should be frustrated, repressed, and hindered from deciding autonomously the economic and political course our country should follow. It would mean violating a right that we Latin American bishops meeting in Puebla, public, publicly acknowledged legitimate self-determination for our peoples. This will permit them to organize their lives in accordance with their own genius and history and to cooperate in a new international order. I hope, Mr. President, your religious sentiments and your sensitivity for the defense of human rights will move you to accept my request and thereby avoid greater bloodshed in this long suffering country. Sincerely, Oscar Arnulfo Romero, Archbishop of El Salvador.